from sunny Malaysia. We've been here for just over a month now and we have kind of fell in love with the place. We thought Chiang Mai was going to be a place that one day in the future we would maybe buy a condo but this just blows it out of the water. It's absolutely incredible. The Petronas Towers have started to feel like home. The vibe is so comforting. The vast mix of cultures just makes us feel so welcomed and set up. Like, I literally don't understand why more people aren't talking about this place. Like, it, it's, it's incredible. Anyway, we have been staying in the most insane apartment block for the past few weeks, and we thought we'd show you around. This is 49 floors high. So we'll start off in the lobby, just beautiful decor. It's got uh, its own coffee place and its own like little convenience store. The block itself is 48 floors high with the top three floors dedicated to incredible facilities, which we'll show you now. We've gotten into the habit of setting our alarms for 7 a.m. and heading straight up to the pool for a quick dip. At this time, the sun is usually still rising, so it's just such a, a nice way to start the day. There's also usually no one there, so we usually have the whole place to ourselves, and it's just so calming and just such a nice headspace to to begin your day with. Hard to describe. I'm in between. I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I'm never so packed for the stack. Never lied on the back. Got a bag from the. While we're up here, I should probably mention this building was only completed last year, so everything still feels brand new and extremely clean, which is just so important when you're staying somewhere long term. Like. You, you want to feel clean, you don't want to feel dirty, like you want it to feel like it's as clean as your own home. This is the business centre. We don't actually know what time it opens. We think maybe eight. Um, it is now eight o'clock. Has a stunning view, but today's a bit overcast, so you can't really see that as well. Um, and there's plug sockets, there's aircon, there's good Wi-Fi, and people are really respectful. Like everyone's always really quiet. And it's just on the floor below the pool. So if you fancy a dip, you can go up. Um, but then opposite, there is also this, which I'm still confused as to what it is. And then we move up a floor, and this is the gym. So, as you can see, it's very spacious, it's got quite a bit of equipment. It's got treadmills, it's got ellipticals, it's got bikes, and then obviously the weight training part, which is most important to us. Um, dumbbells will go, go up to 25 kilos, which is pretty standard for a hotel gym. You can't really expect much more for something being 49 floors up. And then quite a few handy machines like leg extension, leg curl, and also cables. But my most favorite part about this gym is the view. Like I never thought I'd be training with a view of the Petronas Towers. Yeah, you can't really complain when the Petronas Towers are your backdrop. But what I should probably say is obviously for us, the gym is really important, um, as you've probably worked out by now. So obviously that has to be factored into accommodation. So this accommodation is in such a prime location. It's unreal. I never thought I'd be paying, I'd be paying this money for somewhere like this good. In terms of location and facilities, but location wise, it's, ev everything is less than a 10 minute walk from here so it's literally like just walk up this road that i'm looking at right now which can take you i don't know depends how fast you walk and depends on crossing the road but let's say a five minute walk up to the patronus towers um where obviously there's the shopping mall klcc surya klcc which has everything you need from supermarket with foreign goods to mcdonald's where we get 
our morning coffee for cheap and obviously like really expensive brands and in the opposite direction a five minute walk well five to ten minute walk to our gym our crossfit gym so we are now training back doing crossfit um however it's not crossfit affiliated so i don't actually know if i can say that but the gym itself is yeah incredible perfect for what we need um another shopping mall there there's literally shopping malls everywhere and then we can see the sky tower from here you can hop on um, a Go KL bus, which is free, and they have uh, specific routes, which take you to all of the tourist hotspots in the city centre, as well as being close to monorail stations, underground stations, and then obviously your normal bus. So yeah, location is absolutely ideal. I don't think I'd want to stay in any other location here in KL. Another really cool thing that this apartment block has is this space. So this space is, um, on level eight and it's just a nice little sun trap somewhere to go and chill out outside where you can actually as obviously you can't eat um, or drink by the pool but also if you are here as a family and you have children there's this little uh, like playroom for the children that's, ju that's just next door so you can keep an eye on them but also sit chill read your book somewhere really quiet with obviously again a stunning view and then very lastly is this little gem which we're yet to try out it overlooks the pool and also the direction that the sun sets in so if you're lucky enough that you get a nice clear day this looks like a like a gorgeous place to, to grab a glass of wine um, I looked at the menu and it's like somewhere between six and seven pounds for a glass of wine. So that's not really that bad. That's including service charge. And then what you've all been waiting for, our room. So we, as I said, firstly booked this on booking.com with a company called Mana Mana Suites. They have four or five different types of rooms and we've now tried out three just because of the nature of our trip and we've been away and come back so we've checked in and checked out. So we spent the majority of our of our stay in the Coral Studio which is set up as a twin room so it can actually sleep four people. However, the one that I'm about to give you a tour of now is the one bedroom apartment. So it's the only room listed that is a one bedroom apartment rather than a studio. The rest are just set up as studios so it's just one room, kitchen, living room, dining room, uh, bedroom all in one room. However, the minute we checked into this place, which was just completely by accident, um, we fell in love with the separation of like being able to separate work life and life life to the bedroom. All of them have this fully equipped kitchen, all, all similarly set up. them apart from Queen Deluxe Room have what's so handy for anybody traveling is a washing machine and on your check-in they give you this little Tupperware with a few washing tablets yeah. it's also a tumble dryer as there is nowhere really to hang your clothes in your room but if you do have any delicates you don't want to put in the tumble dryer um just hang on where you want that's what i've been doing so don't shrink my knickers this is the living room and then all of the rooms are equipped with this smart TV, which all include Netflix, Prime, Apple TV, and YouTube. So if you're lucky enough, someone will be logged into their Netflix or their Prime or their Apple TV, and you can watch what you want. If not, obviously, you just log into your own. Just make sure you log out, because Harry keeps forgetting to log out of his. In here is a bedroom. In here is the bathroom. It's a pretty basic bedroom. I've got aircon. Just here, that's cool. A wardrobe, I'll show you. This one is, this one has quite a few hangs. The other one only has three, but we've actually got quite a few. Lots of storage space. Another insane view. That's a plug socket there with uh, two USBs. Let's have a look at the bathroom. This is the bathroom, the first part of the bathroom. 
a sink. It's a, a really nice big sink. Quite like it. Got some free toothbrushes and toothpastes. Uh, this is cool. A cupboard with a plug in it. The toilet. It's just a pretty normal toilet. And then a shower. It's uh, not a waterfall shower. It's not one of those fancy showers. It's just a normal one, but it goes hot and it goes cold. Two things I need in a shower. Um, they also say that they're like eco-friendly, so they give you these filled up shampoos and soaps and things. So they're not like using lots of little plastic. I think that just about covers everything for this apartment. As I said, I booked this on booking.com for 30 pound a night. And because we love this place so much and we just need some time to like really settle down and get into a routine, do lots of work and train a lot for the gym, um, we've decided to extend our stay and it means that we're gonna be staying here for nearly three months, so for the full duration of our visa. However, looking at apartments, we were looking at spending about 900 pounds a month to stay here, which with our gym membership on top, it was just slightly over budget. Um, and then by some miracle, I was scrolling through Airbnb and found one of these apartments for 600, 650 pounds, I think, for the month, um, which you also, I believe, you don't have to pay tourist tax on top of. That is something that you'll notice about Malaysia is they have this new tourist tax, which is like 10 ringgit a night, um, which is like, um, a lit like nearly two pounds a night extra but I believe on Airbnb you don't pay that I have since seen that there is a few other apartments for a similar price available um, so just give it a scroll on Airbnb if you're wanting to do this long term anyway I hope this video was helpful um, and I hope it makes you want to come to Malaysia just from this apartment alone you'll have to trust us on everything else there is to do there make sure you subscribe catch those videos about what we get up to while we're here what are our favorite things to do here in Malaysia also give it a like because apparently it really helps thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one